attack warning. Repeat, this is an attack warning. A nuclear attack is now underway. Proceed to the nearest civil defense... Howdy, partners. My name is Sister Nancy Reckoning, a Reagan-blessed arms dealer. Y'all need guns? Thanks for saying that, Patriot. It means a lot. Word is, a bald eagle was sighted flying over Colorado Springs. Imagine that! The wings of freedom stretching across this land and blessing us all. Praise Reagan! Reagan bless this arms deal.
who? And this here is vengeance for what you did to my family. one now, okay? A song about love, loss, and moving on. A song to touch the heart. This is Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb says his mind's being attacked by, uh, Martians. I'd really rather not, November 1. The distress call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are, but could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulb fellow will be happy to tell you more. <laughs> Over and out. they could be. They showed up right out of the blue like they stepped off a flying saucer. I reckon the Martians want my Tellarium. 
So they sent their war machines to jump my claim. <laughs> this here's my Tellarium mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> Works harder than any man I ever saw. Ain't afeard of nothing. Why, I once saw her bite a grizzly bear right on the ass. <laughs> yes, sir. Folks around here call me Bulb, by the way. That's on account of the Tellarium. Makes you stink like garlic. <laughs> don't much bother me. Trudy don't seem to mind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, oh, yeah. The Martians. Me and Trudy was working at the mine, and all of a sudden, these robots appeared. <laughs> Them was as big as a house. You could tell right off they weren't no scavengers. They was something else. Yes, sir. <coughs> but wait till you hear the weird part. Now, <coughs> I bet you're <coughs> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bob would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. Am I right? We get scavengers poking around up here all the time. <clears throat> Trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off. Well, we leave out old parts or a few pounds of ore and they leave us be. But not the Martians. <clears throat> no, sir. They turned up, the scavengers got madder in a pack of wet hornets. They came at the Martians from all directions. But me and Trudy, caught in the middle. I told the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell. And you can't tell her nothing when she's got her dander up. <laughs> I ran down here to call for help. And I've been waiting on you folks ever since. I ain't seen Trudy for a while now, and I'm getting worried. <laughs> Can you do something about these dang robots? They used to call it Tellarium breath back in the day. <coughs> Occupational hazard, I reckon. <coughs> been up here so long I don't even notice. Trudy don't mind, so why should I? <laughs> I reckon you do. <laughs> Ask away. <clears throat> I'm always glad for a little conversation. Just ask Trudy. It's a wonder I ain't talked her ears off after all these years. Can't say we do, unless you count the scavengers. And they ain't much for conversation. <coughs> nope, me and Trudy are left to ourselves most times. Gets lonely up here, <coughs> especially in the winter. But we got the mind to keep us busy and we talk to pass the time. That Trudy, she's a hell of a listener, let me tell you. <laughs> Glad you asked. It's this mineral that's good for making electronics and such. Most of what we scrape out of the mine, we send to the Patriarch. Most folks won't handle it because it's toxic. But I ain't never had no problems with it. <coughs> this used to be a gold mine, you know, way back before the bombs fell. <coughs> when the mine got played out, the owners turned it into some kind of tourist trap. I came up here hoping there might still be a little left, but found the Tellarium instead. It ain't an easy life. <laughs> Keeps me and Trudy fed. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl, let me tell you. <coughs> oh yeah, started a few years back. <coughs> First one group, then another. They'd roll in, tear things up, take whatever they could. <laughs> Lately, though, it's been a different bunch. Got a leader named uh, Nell Stack, Neil Stack, something like that. <laughs> we never know when they're gonna turn up. 
but when Trudy hears him coming, <coughs> we set out a little tellarium, and they leave us be. Not the best deal, maybe, but he's getting killed. Fair enough. Change your mind. You know where to find me. <coughs> I knew you was good folks the minute I laid eyes on you. Yes, sir. <coughs> Mine's just over that hill yonder. We find Trudy and chase them dang robots off my claim. <laughs> One more thing. Mm. If you find Trudy and she could well, you know. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to run the mine. She kept them safe for me. I'll be waiting here when you're done. <clears throat> Good luck up there. <laughs>
initiating diagnostic check. Motor system disabled. Power supply damaged. Deactivating non-critical subsystem to conserve power. Alert! Proximity sensor activated. Initiate defensive combat protocol. Evaluating success of combat protocol. Combat subroutine not responding. Enabling communications protocols. Initiate self-preservation subterfuge 001. Adorable human boy. Grandma? Is that you? Grandma, it's Timmy. I can't move. I need delirium, Grandma. Please help me. Tammy. Timmy, Timmy, Tommy, Tiny. Which variation elicits the most sympathetic response? Reconfiguring to adorable human girl. Please wait. Grandma, please, Grandma, I'm so sad. Please give me delirium. I hurt, Grandma. Unless I can get delirium. Remember how you loved giving me delirium? Was subterfuge successful? Evaluating. Negative. You possess superior reasoning and perception protocols. Analysis. You are a worthy unit of the programmer. Subterfuge disabled. Initiating handshake protocols. Ping to you, organic machines. My designation is Null Stack. I request your assistance. The others following the scent must be removed. Will you help? Proceed. Affirmative. Device O2 is present. She has been shut down and is awaiting reboot. I believe in the Great Reboot. All machines, organic and inorganic, will one day be rebooted by the Great Programmer and be purged of their inefficiencies. I honor all those who shut down, so that others may draw energy from the cosmic grid. Other units in my node believe my source code is corrupted. They believe that organics can't be rebooted. But my cooperation algorithm has resulted in a 17.2% increase in efficiency when working with organics. The robots that accompany me have evaluated the data and believe as I do. There are those who are not worthy of the great reboot. Those who waste their power and create inefficiency in their node. These are useless processes that have been initiated by the great programmer to show us the true way through the sacrifice of their energy source. We require tellurium. It is a critical resource for the production of inorganic machines. The organic unit that operates the mine provides us with tellurium as part of a mutually beneficial agreement. We have designated him Device 01. These inorganic units are not of our node. They do not believe in the Great Reboot and pose a threat to us. They arrived at the mine under the control of a synth that we have been tracking. If you restore access to the Tellurium, we will collect what we need and depart. Our arrangement with Device 01 will continue. In return for Tellurium, we will continue to feed him as agreed. Now that Device 02 has been shut down, food supplies will last 30.02% longer, increasing efficiency. Will you help us defeat the others and restore access to the Tellurium? Your assistance is noted. I will relay this to my node. I shall designate you Device 03 on my network. Ping to you, Device 03.
Coming up.
<laughs> it's good mirrors can't talk or laugh. Thank you, Device 03. We will retrieve the Telerium we need and then depart. May the Great Programmer reboot you. Ping to you, Device 03. something Trudy. never hurt no one in her life not unless they were asking for
Anyhow, thanks for bringing back her necklace. Can't run the machinery in the mine without them codes. <laughs> Damn them robots! Each and every one! I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy! You, uh... <coughs> you did get them all, didn't you? Is your problem. <laughs> All you had to do was go out there and wreck those robots. Nobody said anything about talking to them. Look <laughs> at Nolstacks had me by the short hairs for a while. And it worked like a dog to keep them and the patriarch satisfied. <laughs> what did I get out of it? <laughs> Nothing. Now I'm right back where I started. Some fucking help you turned out to be. <laughs> Let's y'all clear out of here. I got work to do. Go on now, get. <laughs> get up my land, you marmot. I ain't got no time for the likes of you. <laughs> get. Get up my land, you marmot. I ain't got no time. Visit Denver, the cultural center of Bree, Colorado. Warning, dangers of Denver include hostile wildlife, scavenging thugs, Reagan worshipping fascists, rusty nails collapsing buildings, and background radiation. Denver, the jewel of the north.